Hi, this is Rafael Hernandez, and I'm the creator of the Music Ed family of fonts. I'm going to show you how to create a vertical fingering diagram, and we're going to use Music Ed flute as an example. I've got an F natural on a treble staff, and I'll create a fingering diagram vertically above this for this note. To do this in Finale, I'm going to need the Smart Shape palette, and to access that, I'll go to Window and make sure Smart Shape palette is checked. Now, it depends on your configuration of Finale where this might pop up in your window. In my configuration, it pops up at the right, docked vertically. Now, we'll need the Smart Shape tool, or rather the Custom Line tool, and that's the question mark with a line under it icon. If you're on PC, you'll hold Control and click this icon to create a custom line. If you're on Mac, you'll hold Command and click this line. I'm on PC, so I'll hold Control and click the line. We're given the Smart Line Selection option, and here is where all of your um, custom lines will be stored, so when you create multiple fingerings, this is where you're going to go to access them. Since we haven't created a fingering yet, we'll just choose Create. Now, we're given the Smart Line Designer. Here, if we head to the bottom left of this window, we see Text. We're going to use the Center Full option to create our fingering. So next to center full, there's a button labeled edit. We'll click that. Let's choose text, font, and we'll find music ad flute on our system. Size 24 tends to be a really good size for these fonts, so I'll type 24 into the size area. Of course, you can use whatever size you wish. Now with music ad flute loaded, I can type fingering. Now I've already pre-configured the fingering and have loaded it into my clipboard for this particular video. So I'm going to highlight this fingering and choose Control V to paste. This is the fingering for that F and now I'll choose OK. We see a preview of the fingering to the right and there's a horizontal line beneath it. Don't worry about the horizontal line just yet. We're going to use that to our advantage in a moment. Now, we'll also want to choose Center Abbreviation and choose Edit and duplicate our fingering here. Now, the reason we choose Center Full and Center Abbreviation is that the Custom Line tool allows us to create text at angles that follow um, the line. But that's only if we use the Center Full and Center Abbreviation portion of the text um, in the Smart Line Designer. If we choose left start, left continuation, or right end, that text will always appear left to right uh, on a horizontal plane. So we need to use center full and center abbreviation. Now, one final thing we're going to do is we're going to take the fingering diagram and straddle it on this horizontal line. To do this, we'll choose position, which is next to center full. Click the fingering diagram and hold, and then hold shift on the keyboard and drag down. This will constrain dragging so that we can only drag up and down and not left or right. Repeat for center abbreviation, click position, click the diagram, hold shift, drag down. Okay, now that the fingering is straddled on the line, I'll choose OK and I'll choose select. I'm finally ready to draw it onto the score. So now I'll, I'll approach the note and look for the mouse to change to a down arrow, signifying that I'm going to attach this particular marking to this staff. And what I want to do is I want to give myself a lot of clearance because I'm going to have to create a line that's as long as the fingering diagram. So now, way above this note, I'm going to double click and hold. Now hold shift on the keyboard and drag down. And there you go. There is our flute fingering. And you'll notice there's a bit of screen garbage. That's okay. We can redraw the screen and the fingering appears perfectly. Now, if I didn't hold shift while I drag, I could get a situation where the fingering is at an angle, which maybe for a piece that you're writing or an addition you're doing, that's appropriate. Now, the final step here is to get rid of this vertical line. So to do this, we'll go back to the Custom Line tool, Control click it if we're on PC, Command click if we're on Mac, choose Edit, and now at the top right, there is an option called Thickness, 
and it's set to 0 0.0064. Well, I'm going to type in a thickness of 0. Essentially, I'm getting rid of the line. There is no option to actually say no line, so this is really a workaround that's quite convenient. The line disappears. We'll choose OK. Select or cancel. Select if you want to use it again. And when we redraw the screen, voila, instant fingering.